Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. I really wanted to share you with this information here. I find it on Linux Gaming on Reddit about ROG Xbox Ally, a new handheld from Microsoft, new Xbox handheld that's supposed to combine console and PC gaming that's supposed to rival uh, Valve and SteamOS and it comes with optimized windows, deep bloated, faster, better and somebody install Linux guys and it runs faster. If you go to the website it's almost one thousand, I think it's one thousand dollars console or eight hundred pounds you know Xbox logo, ROG, Asus, one trillion or whatever you know one of the biggest company in the world making perfect operating system for gaming windows designed for gaming like optimized and still is getting embarrassed by linux how it's even possible how it's like i cannot believe and i think a lot of people are not surprised as well this is an article here windows x is slower than steam os or on linux and they are not surprised it's like becoming like a normal knowledge like common knowledge there's an article on Tom's hardware as well, ROG Xbox Ally, uh, when you install Linux, it's even 32% faster in some scenarios, yeah, let's be fair, with some scenarios, on handheld, not PC, not desktop, but it is like a small PC, like a laptop, pretty much, and this one guy checked these two games, it's actually quite big games, so Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, 31, almost 32% faster. How? How is even possible? This is in performance mode. Or Hogwarts Legacy. Even if you don't care about this specific title, it's Unreal Engine 5. So this score, like 24%, probably translates to many other games based on the same engine. And if we go here, this is the video the information is based on. Uh, the guy says he's not a benchmark, he's just a normal guy who was able to, to test it and compare. So he compares to Steam Deck, that's supposed to rival that. Like, even how it's even possible that Microsoft missed the chance? Microsoft owns Windows, but they don't make most of the money from Windows gaming. Steam does, or other shops does. How they even miss the mark? How come Google can make so much money on gaming because everything goes through their shops or Apple, you know, or iPhones, everything goes through their shops for the mobile gaming. But Microsoft doesn't make the same money, you know, through Microsoft Store. Nobody using Microsoft Store because it's rubbish. Yeah, no, but who's buying games of, on Microsoft Store? Yeah, so let, let me show you some more context, you know. Because the guy done some testing, it's not only lower performance in terms of average FPS, it's worse than that. Look at the graph, performance graph, how unstable and stuttery Windows is. The comes deliverance, kingdom comes deliverance, or Hogwarts Legacy. Look, look at the graph, ugly, stuttery. It's like hills, you're going through the mountains, so it's going like that. that that's that, I don't know if you can call it stutters or uneven frame time or however. And look how it's on Linux. It's pretty much flat, more FPS and flat, more stable. It feels way better. It's not like 24% better, it's like twice or three times better when the graph is so beautiful flat. It's, guys, this is like a beauty, you know? This is beauty. Or this, this is even better. Look, what is more beautiful than that perfectly flat line? Perfection. And I've done recently some testing on desktop, just for context, in the last video, you can check it out. So I've done tests on Windows desktop, this is my hardware, AMD CPU, AMD GPU, I've got 300 free FPS at height settings, 1080p, and on Bazite Linux, I've got 340, it's more than 10%, yeah, difference. But this is just one game, I'm not a uh, benchmarker, I don't know, other people do, more benchmarks, you should test them out. I find this channel here, the guy was super excited because at very competitive Counter-Strike settings, this looks like a stupid low resolution, yeah? But these guys really love this resolution because you extract maximum FPS for competitive gaming, like real competitive crazy. And look, for lows, because that's what's important for them, it's 100 FPS difference.
that's a crazy number but again this is one game here one game there and somebody brought a point because i was testing linux i don't know a few months ago and it wasn't faster than windows it was slower like 10 percent slower or something like that is uh, you know but at least i don't have to watch all those advertisements and i don't need to train ai to take over the world you know train on me to be better at lying to me and trolling me when i ask for help you know and build terminators on the backyard in the meantime so no ai on on window on linux yeah um, you can check my video there. Actually, there's very cool comments. But one comment in particular, I really like, I didn't think about this. Is it Linux that is getting faster and overtaking Windows now? Or is Windows becoming slower? Because there is more bloat, maybe? More AI on the background, you know, like training on you? Or I don't know, maybe they mine Bitcoin? I don't know what it's doing. So this is actually a good question. And just now... Uh, maybe not even aware of that channel. Hardware and Box have a separate podcast channel and they had like whole video. They call it like a party video. They had a really good time uh, like this in on Windows and, you know, talking how it's even possible, how Windows can become worse and worse and worse. And they actually mentioned the same, that it's maybe even becoming slower. So actually, I wonder as well, is it Linux becoming faster or Windows becoming slower? That's actually a good question. And I'm not switching to Linux, I'm using both, but I just just really like Linux. It's just enjoyable to use. Just everything is so clean, so simple, so nice. You know, I've got my Steam, you know, anyway, but just I, I, I like this stuff. I just, just enjoy, you know, this, this simple animation, you know, this transparency when you move window, this wobbliness. Like, it's just silly thing, it's unnecessary, but I like it, you know. This logo of my uh, distribution, I like. I just, just, just like this stuff, or I like the stuff that I can go to properties, for example, you know, check compatibility and have like a custom Protons. Protons is actually translation layer, yeah, that translates into Windows and and runs the game. And I just wonder because it's not emulation; it's translation. It's kind of similar, but how it's possible? Maybe somebody can explain that it translates to Linux. And it runs faster. Imagine somebody talk to you in Chinese or whatever language you don't understand, and you have a really good translator that translates, yeah, from that foreign language, yeah, translate real person translating, and that person translates from Chinese to English to you, and that person is faster than the original speaker. This is not possible. So how it is possible that the translator finish talking to you before the Chinese person actually? that is translate from. How it's possible, how Linux can be faster, or how it's possible that Windows is so slow. How it is possible that Microsoft releasing a console that's supposed to rival Steam Deck, design a special version of, a special version of Windows that's supposed to be perfectly optimized, you know, like a Mac OS on MacBook, perfect match for the hardware, perfect speed, de-bloated, faster, and still somebody install Linux and it's 30% faster in some scenarios. How it's possible? It's a not native like Linux game. It's, na it's, it's Windows, it's translation. Or how it's possible that Windows still doesn't have HDR fixed? Why it looks so weird on Windows? When it looks normal on Linux, you know I have HDR, I have HDR on my other screen, it works fine. And you know we have this I don't know, I like this, I like this wobbly this. I just, it's, you know, or no, this, this bottom bar, it's moving. Like this, this tiny animation, when you, you can push it. I don't know, I like it. It's just, just a pleasure, you know, when you have it working, everything works, it's just, just, just nice. And Windows is becoming worse. I, I still have Windows, I open Windows, I have pop up this, pop up this. Would you like to install Candy Crush? Or I press something, you know, and it just doesn't work. Like recently, I have to press close twice on, on uh, Windows because the first time I press it doesn't work. How? How such a big company can mess up their own operating system? Anyway, guys, um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.